you have to open PNB one application first. Once you open the application, you have to enter four digit M pin and then you have to complete the login process. Once the application is completely started, this is the kind of basic interface you will be able to see on your mobile screen. Now there are multiple options on this page, but in payment and transfer, you can see there is an option of UPI. So you have to select that particular option. And on the next page, you have to select send money option. Now on the next page, you get two options. One is pay by VPA, which is you can use UPI ID to send payment. And the second option is pay by account and IFSC code. So you can use account and IFSC code details to send the money. So whichever option is good for you, you can go with it. I'm going to go with UPI ID option. So select the first one. So guys, on the next page, you can see the account from which the amount will be debited. After that, if you, you know, select tap of payment option, two option will be visible registry beneficiary and non registered beneficiary. So if you have already registered a beneficiary, you can select the registered beneficiary and you can get an option to select that particular account. But if the person is not registered, you can simply select not registered beneficiary. And then in VPA beneficiary, you have to add the person's UPI ID to whom you're transferring the amount. Then you have to enter the amount and in remark section, you can add any particular message with the transaction. Once everything is done, click on continue option. You can see I have entered all the details. Let's click on continue option. So guys on the next page, you have to cross verify all the details. And once you verify it, simply click on submit option. Now you have to enter T pin over here. So don't get confused. You don't have to enter M pin. You have to enter T pin and then you have to go ahead to complete the transaction process. Once you enter the T pin, we are on the next page. You will receive OTP on your registered mobile number, which you have to enter here. So once you enter the OTP, you have to click on confirm option. Now you can see the transaction is successful and all the transaction details are as given below. So guys, these are the simple steps you have to follow in order to transfer UPI payment or do UPI payment in PNB1 application. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.